whilst I've just come out of the airport and collected my car. I'm sure you can hear it, but there's a band and they're performing. And it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. I, it just took me like, wow, they're all, they must be locals. It's so loud, you can hear it from everywhere. But you can see them behind me. I'm going to get a little bit closer, but wow. Good morning, rise and shine, it's 10 o'clock and it's officially day one of exploring Jordan and today I'm starting off in Amman, which is where I slept last night. I'm currently just walking to the shop for a bottle of water because I've got the driest mouth ever because I don't know if you can drink the water. So I'm on the way to the shop and then today I'm going to do a few hours exploring Amman in the morning, I'm going to go see the ruins and then in the Later afternoon, I'm going to go towards the Dead Sea. Don't know if I'm going to go in it today or tomorrow, but whew, it is warm. It is hot stuff. Walking around, I put my sun cream on this morning. I've got my top off next to the car and every car's beeping. Every car, beep, beep. But they're friendly, they're waving. Maybe they think, what's this, what's this boy doing here? slow by but I'm gonna get a drink and then find something cool don't want to waste no time I'm gonna turn around and come back so I'm walking through just a man down a random road looking back to the hotel and every shop you see look behind is a pet shop and over the road it's pet shop this side of the road is pet shop they're everywhere but check these birds out what the fuck I swear down there's pink and green birds. Let me show you. This is mad. Let me turn the camera around. Wow. The maddest thing I've ever seen. One, who even does that to an animal? And two, how mad is that? And on this side, Look how cute this little dog is. There's a little dog. There's kittens. Look. They're cute, them ones are kittens. Just fighting. And then down there there's a little dog. Cute that in it. Hello. But who makes pink and green birds? Maddest thing I've ever seen, and the guy's touching them now. But everywhere here, I'm walking over 30, 30 yards, I don't know what a yard is, but there's another pet shop with more little kittens. Look at these ones, well cute, tight though. Hello, not scary though. Oh, well scary. What a mad, mad thing, just pet shops everywhere. This must be it, Pet Shop Street. I can't go up them birds. But, I'm gonna go back to the car. I need to go and download some maps and then start my day traveling. So I'll have enough of the animals now. It's time to get about. 
but this is officially day one. I'm absolutely buzzing to get started. So, see you on the other side. We're doing them transitions. My maps have done me over big time here. So, I just put in Roman Amphitheatre. So that's what I want to visit. Um, oh, nice. And it says, up this road. Yeah, do that. Start driving, fucking big steep hills, everything. I thought, oh yeah, it's going to be wicked this. It's going to be right on top of the hill. But it's over there though, so I must go around, I must go around. I'm driving, over 10 minutes. It pulls me down this road. I've got a part down at the bottom of Watler Cup. It's been like that guy. It pulls me down this road. Thinking, oh yeah, it's down here somewhere. Walk way to end in a minute, I'll show you. Bearing in mind, stray cats hunting the beer. And there's just nothing, nothing there. There's no amphitheater. But on my map, it says it's at the end. So now it looks like I'm walking out streets. It's a weird one. And I'll cover there what I can see. That's the kind of stuff I want to see up there. I can see temples and stuff like that. Good stuff. Zoom back out of there. And instead, down here, this is what I hit. A brick wall with a bit of Arabic writing. So I know I'm not in the right place, but it has a jaw, Jordanian House of Poetry. There we go. Can't get in though. I'm pretty sure it's a guard dog up wall as well. I don't you can see it over there. Whatever it is, he's fucking it looks dead. Somewhere over there. What? There's no amphitheater here. Let me have a look through this gap. No, it's someone's back garden. Oh. I've got no chance this week, mate. Hey, you can go through it though, it's open. Oh, it's locked. No amphitheater. Eyes are burning. Someone sort this out. Oh, please. Just want to find an amphitheater. Maybe it's up one of these little streets. Come in here, but this is someone's gap. I can see someone's shoes downstairs. I'm not going down there. Shoes everywhere. There's not a chance we're all in amphitheaters in there. That's where it's telling me for the door. Don't get it. It's a mission that I'll never, I'll never sort. Even my maps is confused now. Definitely says it's this way. That's fun. Excuse me. I'm looking for the amphitheatre. 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 No. Oh. Hi. I'm looking for the amphitheatre. Where do I go? For the amphitheatre? Yes, here. Here, where? Whereabouts? Yes. From where? See over here? Don't know what he's saying. Come over. Come over what? There's a gate in front of me. This is where I am again. Right, where the dead dog were. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I wonder where them people are up there. They're having time in their lives up there. Look, they don't need them. I don't know if you can see them. They're happy. They're happy and I can see over his eyes. I mean, no. Give up. Get me up there. I tried the amphitheatre and I don't know if, if, if I've seen it or not. Get me to the top. 
I'm not messing about now, I'm going up there. I was going to have a stop off in the centre as well. But I'll have a look when I go down. It's a bit busy for me. I'm not ready this morning. I still got a dry mouth. Still my eyes are sore. I feel like I've not woke up yet. What a day. What a day. So far I've seen fairly odd parents. A quarter at Roman Amphitheatre, you can class it. And I've drove around just scratching my eyes. Been up two hours. Yeah. Hello. Just called me back. Where are you going, mate? Fuck oh, knows. Been called back this way. No idea what's going on. It's gonna show me, I reckon. Oh, is he off the gate for me? Yes, boss. He's off the gate. So I'm in the right place, mate. Can I? Oh, nice. Over, yes. Over it? Over, yes. Perfect. You're alone, one person? Yeah, yeah. Only one? Yeah, just looking on my own. Look, uh, here from uh, over. Oh, nice. Sure. Ooh. So you can, you want to go inside? Yeah. Ah, this is the gate. Down there? The gate, there. You see the policeman? Yeah. From there. This is a good yes. view though. Yes, good, very good view. Look, now wow. when you take photo, after after you take photo, you go back. Back? Back and, and uh, left. I'll take a photo now, let me so turn this around. Understand me? Yeah. Oh, nice one, boss man put me up. So, I'm above it and I can go down in a moment. Now I'm looking for Buffalo, it is actually pretty sick. I'm going to go down and climb it as well. But he's left me in this building, he just says closed door and he went out. Not the way he's gone. What, what a sick view. Loving it, loving life now, and a baby. Started. This trip started getting his engine going now, look at this. I need someone down there to take a picture of me when I'm out and about. Awesome on my own. Place. I wouldn't say that's not a dog either, it's a rock. It's a decoy. But the Roman Amphitheatre. Next stop. I'm getting, I don't kind of see it down there, mate. I'm getting involved. Wow. I'm so happy that guy helped me out. A bit of perseverance, and I got there in the end. He only took me getting out of my car three times. But so nice. Actually, I'm going back one more time. One more time for one more look and then camera's going away to them down there. See that? Yeah, camera's going away and getting down there, taking it in, enjoying the moment. Enter. Enter the drive on. So I'm entering the Royal Nam Theatre now. I don't know much about history, I'm not really a history guy. I'm more of like a, not much of a guy to be fair, I just like traveling. But, I like to learn along the way. Now, because I've no internet, I can't Google as I walk around. So, I've got to do all my research after and have a look into the places I've been. Which is good, but it's fun because I don't know so much and then, by the end of the trip I'll know loads, I've been an expert on Jordan. But, I'm just walking into the, the amphitheatre now and I've got to go Jordan Pass some opening and this cross is free. Once I get in, I'll show you, show you the vibes, show you what's going on. At the moment, you can see from the outside. Wow. I was at the top there. So I want to climb, climb up, I want to climb over. Climb up and go and see what it's about. So I'm gonna go in. Here we go, the Roman Amphitheatre built in Philadelphia. Ancient name of a man in the second century AD. Belongs to the front wall. 6,000 viewers and it's got an auditorium on the stage. It's got three tiers and the altar celebration began. A sacrifice. That's it in the olden days. 
So, I'm gonna go in the entrance, straight through to the stage. Whoa, let me turn this around. That's so good not to, not to see. I wish you could see it with your own eyes. It's so cool. So cool. Oh, and it's free because I've got the Jordan Pass. It's just amazing. And to think I was bothered about missing this. Wow. I feel like belting one out. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm on climb. I think the worst thing about being on your own He's trying to get nice photos just for like memories. And when you ask a random to take a picture, there's always something like they always go too far away or they put a finger in front of the camera. Oh, look how steep this is. I'm turning around. They are so steep. I can't even see my screen myself. Jesus Christ. These are some steep steps, these. I'm actually going to climb up the seats rather than the steps. That's a workout itself, to be fair. Whoa. So steep. Whew. I'm not eating today. I only had a little bit of water. <laughs> some reason, camera cut out mid climb. But I'm at the top. And because I didn't know I was going to miss it, what a view. It's so good. It reminds me of being in Camp Nou a little bit. Let me turn it round. Views from the top. And if you've got a Jordan, go to Jordan Garden. If you've got a Jordan Garden pass, a go Jordan, then it's free entry and it's not far from a man. Well, it's in a man. It took me about nine minutes to drive, about 45 hours to find it. But, definitely worth it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Only because in one video, I started taking off grease and I got hated, got abused. <laughs> so 10 out of 10, absolutely mint. After I've done here, that's where I'm going next. Straight to the top. Find a way. But the Roman Amphitheatre. And man, ticked it. Done. The second time today I've took a long video and I've got down in the shade to look and realised it's not recording. But as I was saying, I've just climbed down the amphitheatre and I'm off to the Dead Sea tonight because I've got a hotel there. I was going to go in it today, but I might save that for tomorrow because I still want to explore the place on top of the, the hill, which I'm not too sure it's called. But when I get there, I'll update that. And I wanted to go to a place called Jurash or Jurash, don't know which one it is, um, but it's 50 minutes away and in the wrong direction. So I get that done today, that proper throws me out. But I think it's only 12 o'clock, so I've got loads of time left of daylight of exploring. But I'm done in the Roman Amphitheatre now, I've just been in the Museum of Popular Traditions, um, which was there wasn't so much though. And there's a folklore museum on this side, which I'm gonna go in in a moment. I've not really took the camera in there. And then I saw my first, my first sightseeing and my first attraction of being in Jordan. Done it. Yes. <laughs> Feel like I finally got the ball rolling eventually. I've only been up two hours. I woke up at 10, so I've not done bad, but I'm still so hungry. I'm not eating a thing. So I'm gonna stop some food. Probably not traditional food today because man, I'm not even eating at all and I'm not ready for the belly start going. And then I'm back on with my journey. So I'll pick you back up soon. 
I've made it to the top of that little place where I wanted to see before, which is the Amman Citadel. If you have the Jordan Pass, then it is free. If you are from Jordan, it is 25 cents. And if you are a foreigner, then it is only three dinar. And for me, you can see the, the, the Roman amphitheater where we were before. And somewhere over there would have been the hotel that I'm staying. They said when you come in, would you like a tour guide? Because it's so big and it's important to read all the information. I politely declined, but I can imagine it being quite useful. I'm just, I feel rude if I wanted to video and then have her talk and take her time up. But so far, it's just lots of rocks. But the important thing will be to see what these rocks are. So I'm not judging a book by its cover, but I want to find out what a citadel is and why it's here. But on top, let me, let me flip it. You can see the big stone feature, which was what enticed me before. And it's all like saving water, that one said. So I won't read that one. But it reminds me of like in Greece. So in my Greece videos and like roads and cause there's always ruins. And again, the same, I never really know what they're about. Just visit, just get it done. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Getting stuff done. One thing I've noticed about Jordan so far is it's very beige. Everything's very similar color. No paintings, never seen a render over here. It's all just beige. Everything just looks the same. It goes so far on as well. So we can see. It's so big. So made it. So we've done a little bit of walking through all the beigeness and through all the land. It is proper beige, and I found myself. It's called the Temple of Hercules. Don't know how I forgot that in the space of 10 seconds. So the Temple of Hercules is the big, the big rock. Well, it's what's left of it from what I could see from down at the hotel. Let me flip it round. So this would have been once massive, big temple. And this is all that's left. Views over a man. All that's left of the temple. So we'll have a look over there and see what what it's about. But it reminds me exactly like when I'm in Greece and you go and visit the ruins and they're exactly the same. So obviously Hercules is Greek, isn't it? Greek god. I don't know where all the links are and see, this is what I need to know and use history as a chance to explore what everything is like about, what everything means. But, oh, there we are. Temple of Hercules. Bosh. Just listen to it ring across a man. Somebody must be singing or prayers, it's got to be. You can hear it echoing from everywhere. Every building bouncing off. And you can hear it echoing off every building. When it starts, and I hope you can hear it on the camera, surely you can't miss it. Echoing throughout the man as the flag is raised flying over. It's such a big flag as well. Look at it compared to the city. It's much quieter now. But I hope I got the video of the other sound. It must be over. That was quite spectacular over all the buildings, the echoing. Wow. 
So the flag is the tallest flag in the world, tallest flagpole, 128 meters, 126 meters, and it's 60 meters by 30 meters. And it was there for the great Arab revolt and Jordanian army, yeah. Amazing. I'm not saying nothing, but in the UK, you've all seen that video, all that we probably have, of them taking down the United Kingdom flag and swapping it for the LGBT ones, which I've no issue with, but I like that they've got the flag everywhere, and I think it shows how like, proud they are to be where they come from, and that's something probably lost in the UK. I am dehydrated and I'm hungry. I've not eaten since I got here. <laughs> I've not eaten since I got to Jordan. So there's a cafe where I parked the car. I go in there, I get a strand, and we make my way to the Dead Sea, I think. I enjoy my time over there. But, oh, it's hot. The one thing is, I struggle with at the moment is not taking my t shirt off because I'm respectful. I love to take my t shirt off. I feel like it's a bit disrespectful, isn't it? Like, in England, it'd be fine. Spain, fine. Greece, fine. Turkey, fine. But I feel in Jordan, it's disrespectful to take your t-shirt off and I've not seen a single person with theirs off. Now that might just be they don't want to burn. So, I don't know. Once I get to the Dead Sea, I'll take it off because it'll be a beach. That'd be a bit weird going at sea with the top on. But, I just want to get it off because my tan lines are getting worse and worse by the minute. I'll just show you this one. Look at the state of that on my arm. Probably blocked my camera. Probably can't even see it. I need to get rid of them. I don't want to make them worse. But site number two done. I forgot the name of it. Citadel. The Citadel of a man complete. Roman amphitheatre complete. Next up, probably the Dead Sea. But it is a tower drive, so you never know what I'll see on the way. For the first time in about 13 hours, I'm scranning. It's just come to the table, and I've only paid about four quid for this. So I've got, I'll show you. Falafel, many pieces there. Greek salad, it's like a bad boy scrum that. And then they give me a free, well, I guess it's free, I've not paid for it. A little authentic bread there, which looks good. So I'm gonna scram this now, don't be a little tear test for you. Well, let me set this camera up. A little bread. I'll tell you. I'm banging. Falafel. I'm gonna do a bit of cheese off the salad. Honestly, I was a bit worried when I went down. I went to a menu and I thought, I don't want any meat and that. They've got like eggs in different ways and like little baby eggs. So I thought I'd go for safety. But I'm looking forward to tucking into this scram. I'm not out all day, so I'm putting this camera down when I'm eating. But, banging. Mmm. One more little look. A little rooftop terrace. Looking over. Scram. Wow, oh my days. Just finished scranning at the City Dial in the cafe. Good scram, loved it, filled me up, needed that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down to the Dead Sea and my hotel down there, which is about two hour drive away. So I've just downloaded some tunes, got car play in the car, just got the aircon on, blasting it through, then I'm on the road. Get down to the hotel, check in. We have a little bit of a chill this afternoon, I think. Nothing much more because tomorrow and from tomorrow onwards, the big busy days, and got to make most of my time here, Anna. For now, driving down, if I see anything on the way, stop the car or get out. But until then, wow, the aircon's just blasting heat out of my eyes. But I can't wait to just get in a pool and chill out for a bit for the afternoon. Show you around the hotel, five star hotel, the Martin at the Dead Sea. £150, I'll do a little tour on that as well. 
Yeah. So as I was on the way to the hotel, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. And I've come to the baptism site of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if Jesus Christ got baptized in Jordan. I don't know, he obviously must have, but I'm here and it's cost me 12 dinars to come inside, which isn't too bad. And I've got to wait 30 minutes now for a shuttle bus and they'll take me down to the actual baptism site. Now, I thought, oh, I wouldn't be that bothered about it. I was like, oh, maybe I just won't do it. But this is Jesus Christ we're talking about. This is like the big man himself. So I'm gonna go back in a moment and get on the shuttle bus and then I'm down to the actual baptism site of Jesus Christ. Now, that is pretty mad. It is pretty mad. So go back in, pay 30 minutes for the bus. I'm gonna get to the hotel so late today, which means I won't get much time for chilling. So I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow and have some time in the hotel. It's cost me a fortune, I'm not even using it. Regrets. But Jesus Christ, if I didn't do it then what kind of man would I be? So I'll let you know when I get down there. Some of the visitors from around the world. There's one, big up Prince Charles. Another one, big up Putin. The port. Some more over here. I don't know any of them ones though. So I've got a little a little leaflet here which tells me about the baptism site. And it says, if I'm reading correctly, let me get my, my eyes straight. As soon as Jesus was baptised, he went up out of the water and that moment the heaven opened and he saw God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son who I love, with him I am well pleased. Now, I'm not making it up, that's a fact. So when I'm at this baptism site, if I come back claiming that I've seen God and he told me I'm his son, I don't make the rules. I actually look forward to it. I mean, no way religious. But, Jesus Christ, God, them two people, the people, most famous people in the world. So I can't wait. I've got to wait for a shuttle bus though. And I've got one hour to walk around the site. And I presume I get the bus back. It's all about the monasteries, the churches, John the Baptist, the baptism pool, prayers. I look forward to it. Can't wait. Some more famous people. We've got a museum of it here. Nothing much to see in here though. It's just a few pictures. Small little museum. But ooh. Ooh. only 19 minutes to go and I'm down there. <laughs> And so we're at the point where Jesus Christ was actually baptised. Now I'm not in the video because it seems a bit disrespectful to be a Christian or something. But I'll give you a little quick turnaround first. Where well, Jesus Christ was baptised. Definitely getting a photo and I'll let you know how the rest of the tour goes later on. Unless it's decent amazing, but respect. Oh. I found the interesting part. This is the west bank of the Jordan River. So as you cross, it takes you to Israel. So I'm allowed on this side. I'm gonna go in as well, it's well mucky, but I'll get in there for a little bit. Oh well, I'm just there. But this is the West Bank. And there is Israel. Anyway. The Jordan River. Israel. Jordan. Israel. Jack. It's mad that it's so close. Obviously it's not mad, but it's just at all. Free my brothers in Palestine. Very mucky. There's crocodiles in there everywhere. <laughs> right, so so far I've been to <laughs> where have I been? I've been to amphitheatre, I've been to other thing, I've been to where Jesus for baptized, I've 
I'm driving to hotel and a man's saying, come on, dead sea. I thought, oh, I can't be arsed, mate. So I said, look, no, I'm going to hotel, I'm knackered. Then I got halfway to hotel and I thought, I've got a hotel, my night's over. So I'll leave the hotel for the next video. Today, I'm doing the dead sea, but the sun's going down. So a bit of cute, going to get some mud on me and that, have a shower, have a little swim and have a thought and chill at the Dead Sea and that'll be the last part oh, I say it'll be the last part of the video this video is going to be about 10 hours long four part series sell it to Netflix maybe if you get hit by a shark you'll be buzzing but I'm walking down there now because I had no way two minutes two minutes to walk I've been walking Wait, seven minutes still no closer to the sea He's absolutely sold me a dream. And I fell for it. An idiot. Someone's probably going through my car right now. Probably left it unlocked. But I'm on my way. Oh, it's warm, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's sound this. It's warm. My feet ain't floating though. Maybe I've got to sit down to float. But, pretty warm, you know. Oh, that was sharp though. Sharp, innit? On the floor. Stepping on stones. Dead Sea. I feel like I've done it now. It's not as not as amazing as I imagined, but I'll show you. Oh. A minute. Listen, anyone who knows me knows I can't swim. Look at me just floating here. I would never be able to float. Look me, get me gags on. So me here, right? Don't matter on the knee, I don't need hands, look. Yeah, just floating about in sea. I thought it'd be a myth mean you won't float. I could chill you for months, as long as I don't drift out. Oh yeah, I do get back now. Too far, no matter. Because I just float, when I just float out, just float to a different country. Not bothered. This is mad this, I'm touching ground now though. No, I'm not. Yeah, I just don't get how you get up. Oh. Roll on my front, got me float on there as well. Okay now. This is a bit mad, isn't it? Floating everywhere. Jeez. <laughs> no right, no word of a lie, it's pretty good this. Right, I want to come back tomorrow, I'm going to do it morning as well. I'm just floating, I'm full of salt though, I can feel it everywhere. Back of my head stinging where I've had a skin fade. But, I'm just floating about, just enjoying it. I don't turn around. I'm turning halfway to Israel though. Turn around, got to get rid of the sun and see. I'm floating out. I'm fucked if I do though, because I can't swim back. But, wow, it's mad. I never actually thought this yet. You have its full video for itself. I don't get it, just solid. Oh, back at neck is absolutely stinging though. I have some rashid morning, me. Oh, Jesus. I don't even like water. Oh, I don't even want to get out. I hate water, but this is chilling. So chillaxing. I'm not even deep in because I'm scared. But if I want to go for a swim in a set when I put my phone away, I could swim so far because it wouldn't even matter. If I know I can't drown. If I get stuck, I just float. What a such, such chilling thing to do. Oh, I like to touch it for now. I'm going to put my phone away, I'm going to go for a swim. I'm going to get it done. Swimming, Dad, see? I'm full of it today. Oh. That guy's from, what's he doing now, bro? Full of salt there. Neck is absolutely ringing, though. Ah.
I'm just waiting for the shower water to come out of there. Oh, there you go. Get a little shower. Oh, it's warm, man. Oh, it's roasting. You get a little shower, and I put my phone away, and get ready to go back to the hotel. That is mega hot, that. He's winding me up. I put my phone away for a minute. Jesus Christ. Might sound stupid, right? But this shower has been one of the finer things in life. Just looking out, looking at the view. Turn it round. Dead Sea, the showroom, oh, no one around, it's quiet, it's relaxing. Yeah, there's sand off my face and my fucking neck. Thank you! Oh, stunning. 